want to be a truck driver, right? Well, it's a different occupation. It's rewarding in some ways. Other ways, it's not so rewarding. But you know, I got thinking about this as a series. I skipped started, and I thought, you know, a truck story is not complete unless you have a lot lizard. Okay? A lot lizard. How many of you know what a lot lizard is? I, you know, right now I'm going to start over. It's been a few years since I've been on the truck. And there's probably a lot of terms that have changed. And there, there's a lot of things that's changed. But right shortly, probably within a week, I'm going to be back on the truck again. Bring you stories again. But anyway, I want to talk about lot lizards. stories. This is true, not made up. Anyway, had a load of onions. Had to deliver it downtown LA in the produce market. Well, my delivery time runs my mind was somewhere around 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'd worked myself down through all the mess of, you know, the traffic and got into the produce market down in there and found this you know, warehouse after warehouse after warehouse, you know. And anyway, there was a w warehouse, and there was the name of them. The address was correct. So I was a little early. I had a couple of three hours before my appointment time, and they were closed. In fact, everything was closed. In fact, the whole place, not just this, but the whole parking lot. There wasn't a truck in this parking lot but me. Okay? Made me a little nervous. Downtown. LA produce market and I'd heard a lot of things about produce markets and I was the only truck there okay you can say believe I was a little nervous anyway I went ahead I backed up to the door I put my door my back of my trailer right up against the door so nobody could break into the back doors or open up or whatever they, if they wanted onions I mean onions you know Anyway, onion rings, yeah, somebody want, might want onion rings. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. Burgerville in the Pacific Northwest makes excellent, excellent onion rings. They use Walla Walla sweet onions to make their onion rings, and they are delicious. But anyway, I'm not talking about onion rings. I'm talking about lot lizards. Anyway. I backed up, and so I didn't dare go to sleep. So I went back to my sleeper, and I got my claw hammer, and I got my fire extinguisher, and, and I don't know what. Oh, my tire thumper, big old, you know, a solid oak hunk of wood that I'd thump the tires on my truck to make sure they had the right air in them. So I set them all up, and I sat in my bunk. I had these all around me, and I had a couple of pillows on each side propping me up because I couldn't close my eyes. I couldn't fall asleep. So I was sitting there, and I was ready. If anybody tried to break in, I had a fire extinguisher. I had my tools, my weapons. Yes, and we weren't allowed to have guns, so, and I didn't have a gun anyway. So, but anyway, I was sitting there keeping my eyes open. Yeah, keep your eyes open. All at once, tap, tap, tap. Heard this tap, tap, tap on my door. I went, okay. So I peeked out at the curtains a little bit open before looking into the cab, and I peeked him open. I saw this beautiful woman. Cute. 20s. Her hair was, it was, it was messed up, okay? But she was standing there smiling so sweet. You know, looking through my, the glass of my driver door. So I slid out. She says, do you have 86 cents? And I went, thought to myself, 86 cents? You know, I know this is a lot lizard, but 86 cents, that's pretty cheap. And by the way, I did not participate in lot lizards. You know, I was happily married, and I did not enjoy all those things. I did not do those things. But anyway, I went, yeah. So I says, just a minute. 
So I went back to my sleeper and I have a penny jar, you know, and throw my change in, you know. Because you are actually kind of living in these trucks. So you have, you know, you, it's kind of like a little home. This box, eight by five, eight feet by five feet, you, that's, that's what you call home. How many of you think you could live in that, okay? Eight feet by five feet. That's your TV, your microwave, your refrigerator, your bed, your clothing, your closets. That's where you live, okay? Anyway, I counted out 86 cents. She wanted 86 cents. I counted 86 cents. So I took him and went out, and she was still standing there, and I looked. She was standing up on the running board, of course. And I says, rolled the window down about that far. Okay, just enough. Make my nose itch just thinking about it. Anyway, so I rolled the window down about that far, and I reached my hand out, and I said, she dropped her, she had her hand like this, and I made sure I didn't touch her hand. And she thanked me. She says, thank you, I appreciate that. Then the hook came. You know I'm, I'm really good. I said, yeah, I'm sure you're really good. She says, I just don't want to take money for nothing. And I assured her that that was perfectly fine. You know, I would be glad to give her 86 cents. And I says, but you've really had a rough night. Your hair is a mess. She says, I know it. And she says, well, thank you. As she jumped down off the fender, or the running board of my truck, not the fender, but the running board, jumped down, walking away, she disappeared in the dark. You know, truck driving's a total different experience. Total different lifestyle. I like to call it a lifestyle. I, it's not even like a salesman with a motel room or anything. It's kind of like you are, this is your home. This truck is your home. You work, you slide out of bed, and you slide into the work seat in one smooth move. The only thing you eat is what you carry in your truck unless you stop to, at a restaurant or something like that. And if a lot lizard comes along, they come to your house. They come to your bedroom. They come to your kitchen. And I don't recommend they come to your bathroom because these sleepers are not really made to carry a bathroom in. Pour the potty, nah. It, it, you know, go to a truck stop, you know, restaurant, anywhere. But, you know, you've got too much crowded in here to have a toilet sitting in there too. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you more stories. 86 cents and the lot lizard. You learn all kinds of things in this world, and you meet all kinds of people. Even in the middle of the night, in downtown LA, in the produce market. I'm Steve Allen, and I'm gonna be bringing a whole bunch more stories. I'm gonna bring you some technical information about trucks. You know, a lot of things have changed over the years, and that's kind of the reason I actually get back out on the truck, is to, Bring these things into play, you know. Bring the old with the new. And I've got to learn some things about this new life. But I'm sure a lot of the same things are the same. Anyway, I'm Steve Allen, and so each of you have a great day, and I'm gone. Bye.